Good evening, I'm Mark Kiesling. And I'm Julie Williams. And Thanksgiving's in a few days, and a lot of people are having a hard time with how expensive food is. So what can be done to lighten those worries? News 3's Paul Wilcoxon has more. They're complaining about the rising cost of groceries, but it's everywhere. I mean, we can't control it. Thanksgiving is about spending time with your family and overindulging on food. But with rising food costs, what are people doing to save money? Shane Burroughs is the general manager for Southern Illinois Grocers, and he says stores like Cesar Foodland are seeing prices of more than $4 for items like a head of lettuce and a dozen eggs. We didn't even used to sell it for that. I mean, that's really expensive. Even with the increases, Burroughs says customers are understanding of the situation everyone is facing. It's everywhere. I mean, if, if the prices, we're seeing price increases, everybody is. And I think customers, for the most part, understand that. Burroughs believes families will still celebrate Thanksgiving with their traditional meals, even with food costs rising. They're going to have their meals, and they're, they're going to plan just like they always have. They're probably cutting back elsewhere. Stores like Cesar Foodland rely on local foot traffic to stay in business. That's something Burroughs says has increased in the last several months. We're seeing more local traffic because of gas. So maybe we're keeping some people from going out of town by, by offering them some deals that we have. There are a couple of things shoppers can do to help save a little more money. First off, take advantage of weekly ad sales. Also, look for private label brands, which Burroughs says are made by the same national brand companies you see on the store shelves but cost far less. So hopefully they're doing that and saving some money walking out of here with their wallets a little heavier. In Cesar, Paul Wilcoxon, News 3.